Greetings again from First Congregational Church in Danbury here on Deer Hill. I'm Reverend Pat Chris, the pastor. And it sure has been an interesting bunch of weeks we've just gone through. And this one will be interesting too. I'm hoping this week that what we see is the same kind of light we've seen from other leaders here in this country. I went back and I wanted to see how much other leaders, other presidents have had to deal with conflict, with disagreement and doubt and downright anger. So I went back and I looked at some of our past presidents and things, little pieces of light that they showed in their own inaugural speeches. And it's quite interesting. Barack Obama said, starting today, we must pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and begin again the work of remaking America. And long before him, in 1801, Thomas Jefferson, who was again looking at conflict among parties, said, but every difference of opinion is not a difference of, of opinion, of principle. We have called by different names, brethren of the same principle. We are all Republicans. We are all Federalists. No matter what the name of the party was, he was going through the same thing. And then there's Bill Clinton, who in 1993 said, there is nothing wrong with America that cannot be cured with what is right for America. Yep. Abraham Lincoln had a very famous statement in his inauguration, which we've heard before, but certainly applies these days. He said, with malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right as God gives us to see the right, let us strive now to finish the work we are in to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. And last, but certainly not least, is a quotation coming from a source you wouldn't think. It's from Richard Nixon who said at his inauguration speech, we cannot start talking to one another until we stop shouting at one another. And so this week, I invite you to come back on Sunday and hear our service. And I'm hoping that this week will be a time where the light shines over the darkness. Blessings. See you Sunday. Mm -hmm.